This bill is cruel and insulting. It is harmful, it's medically unnecessary, and it's disrespectful to me and every other woman who can make our own health care decisions. I don't need to be protected by you. I can make my own decisions, and North Carolina can, women can make their own decisions. We do not need you to make it for us. The bottom line is that by banning abortion in this way, the government is forcing people into untenable situations with serious consequences for their health, their families, their lives, and their futures. Bodily autonomy and self-determination are fundamental human rights that we should and must respect. I strongly object to this egregious assault on our freedom, and I strongly object to this assault on our bodies. And Mr. Speaker, I also want to be recognized for a second purpose. The lady may state her purpose. Mr. Speaker, pursuant to Article 2, Section 18 of the North Carolina Constitution, I would like to be recognized for a constitutional protest. Hmm? Yeah. After I'm finished. Lady may the protest that will be logged into the journal. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senate Bill 20 started as a common sense bill on safe surrender of infants that passed the House on a unanimous vote. Late last night, the bill turned into a complicated abortion ban that restricts health care decisions for millions of North Carolina women. The bill is now injurious to the public, and under our state constitution, I rose, rise to protest for two reasons. First, a woman's right to have an abortion changed dramatically with the reversal of Roe v. Wade. Now, in less than a year's time, we are further curtailing the rights of women to make their own health care decisions. Second, the secretive and rushed process behind Senate Bill 20 prevents scrutiny from doctors, nurses, and the public generally. As we vote today, we do not know all of the real consequences of this bill. For those reasons, I protest the consideration of the conference report for Senate Bill 20 under Article 2, Section 18 of the North Carolina Constitution. Noted. Question for the House is the adoption of the conference report. I join in our protest. I rise to join the protest, Mr. Speaker. I rise to join the constitutional protest. I rise to join the constitutional protest. The vote is open, and members, Representative Alexander, Representative Brock. R5, Representative Wheatley, Wheatley on the floor, Wheatley aye. Corkle Lott and Machine record the vote. 71 have voted in the affirmative, 46 in the negative. The conference report to Senate Bill 20 is adopted, and the Senate will be so notified.